Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you tonight? Good, and you? I want to ask you something. Go ahead, tell me. I was working in the exam and all that things of the platform, and I have a doubt. Uh, what is bad in... Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I erase the thing that I want to ask, but I couldn't do one part because the answer wasn't correct. And I don't know why. Can you send me the section and a screenshot, please? And I will respond through your WhatsApp. Okay. I, yeah, I need to know what section it is. All right. Someone, someone wet the rain. <laughs> no, I just took a shower. <laughs> That's why. It's Hi, late yeah. already. Hi. Hi, Beatrice. Welcome. How are you doing, guys? Thank you. Good. Everything good? Ready for tonight's class? Yes, ready, teacher. I hope I'm so. fresh like a lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> is it raining there? I think it's no. raining here, too. Here there isn't raining, teacher. It isn't? Okay. Welcome, Gio. Good evening. Hi, good evening. All right. Well, let's continue where we left off last night. So we're going to start here, I guess. Okay. So indirect questions are clear, right? We're good with that? Yeah. That's awesome. We can start section four now. Can you read the objective, please, Beatrice? Yes. In this class, you will learn how to tell stories. How to tell stories, okay. All right, so we're gonna watch this video and I would like you to write down some expressions so that we can get the best out of it. And also I want you to pay close attention and identify what tense they're using to tell stories. If it's the past, if it's past continuous, future, what it is, all right? So write down some expressions that are new for you and identify the tenses being used. Ready? Yes. Let's watch. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the field, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. 
It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Did you like the story? <laughs> Just realized. No nineties. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Supposed to be scary. Okay, so what tins were they using? Did you notice? What what? What tenses? What time tenses? Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Well, first of all, they use the past simple, right? And they also use past perfect. For example, they had gone somewhere that day before they uh, went, before they found something. For example, this is past perfect and, and past simple combined. What else? What else did you hear? Could you hear past continuous? Yes, maybe when huh? you talk yes, about the pine, he's walking he's bright, in. walking uh -huh, in the forest. The forest. Exactly. Looking for his bright. And they also use wood. So this is similar to used to, guys, but it's like something you used to do a lot in the past. For example, they said they would they would hold hands or they would walk every day. So this is like a habit in the past. Okay, it's a similar way of saying used to. So it's a, a habit in the past, okay? That's what it means. So let's see what the exercise is and then you're gonna do your own. So you see, this is how you have to use past continuous and past simple. This is the easiest form. We're not gonna get to the past perfect just yet. All right, so take notes on how to use past continuous and the simple practice, what the difference is, All right? Let's pay attention here and then we'll practice. I think you can see better if I play it here, right, separately, because this is kind of small. Look, so I'm going to play here. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn the difference between the past continuous 
and a simple pass. Additionally, you'll learn how to express your ideas using both tenses. So, let's start it. The first thing that we need to learn is that we'll use both tenses together in order to express complex sentences. So let me give you a quick example. If you want to explain that you were doing an activity such as eating dinner and you were interrupted, uh, let's say by uh, a friend or someone called you, in order to express this idea, you must use the two tenses together. So for example, I was eating dinner last night when my girlfriend called me. So let's look at the definition. We use the past progressive with the simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. So if we look at this example here, they were enjoying the morning. This is the action that was in progress. And there was an interruption. That interruption was that when the thief stole the briefcase. So now let's look at some other examples. So we got a about two or three examples here and um, again we are trying to express that whole idea that there was a continuous action happening in the past and there was an interruption that occurred so the example here is while he was escaping from the bank the robber got caught in the revolving door so if we look at the timetable here at the bottom we can see that the past event was or the past continuous event was that he was escaping from the bank. All of a sudden this action was interrupted by this blue event which is the robber got caught in the revolving door. Um, and then the next example is quite similar as Jake was running towards the ball he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. The last one is uh, similar the secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Um, just a quick reminder here, um, also something that we should uh, keep in mind is that usually, not all the time, while and as will follow a past continuous statement. So as you can see, while he was escaping from the bank, as Jake was running. So typically, these words will follow a past progressive um, statement, if you will. So what we're going to try to do next is we're going to look at a small paragraph and we're going to try to make sense of it. I will do this one together with you guys and you'll do the next one. So what we want to do here is, number one, we want to identify if the statement will be in the past progressive form or it will be a simple past form. In order to do that, we must follow this um, concept that I mentioned that we will use the past continuous for an action that was in progress and the simple past for an action that interrupted that particular action. So the two events are related to one another. Um, sometimes the events may be separate from each other and that's when uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to understand. So let's look at the first one. What you're going to do is you're going to use these verbs in parentheses that you see here and you will either turn those into a past progressive form or a simple past form. So while diverge, as I mentioned previously, uh, typically we will use, whenever you see this word, it will typically follow a past progressive form. But let's make sure that it makes sense. While, so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they, and here we should use this verb, okay, but then we have to change that into a past progressive form. So let's see. So while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. So yes, it looks like this first event is related to the second sentence. Therefore, this is the action that was in progress, and this next sentence is the interruption of this event. So let's kind of like make it work. So while divers were working, That'll be our first answer there. Off the coast of Florida, they Disco. discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. Okay, so that makes sense for the first one there. Now let's look at the next one. The divers 
Uh, and also the next sentence also appears that there was an action that was in progress and then there was an interruption. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to use the verbs in parentheses. So, so the divers, and we're going to say where, we're going to take that verb and we need to change that into a progressive form. We're filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. And we also need to change that verb into a past form. So there we go. Okay, so what I would like for you to do is to identify whether the sentences are related to one another. And if so, identify what was the action that was in progress and what other action interrupted that first action. So you're going to do this using the past continuous and the simple past form. All right, let's do that last exercise on the video. Do you have questions about the difference between past simple and the... past continuous, guys? No? The past continuous is, is when uh, there are a sentence um, who have two, two uh, actions. One is interrupted, interrupted by another. Yes, then, I mean, that is a way to see it if you have both of them together. That is one of them, one of the differences. Fast, continuous. We're going to do exercises to understand this better. So this is how it works, Alvin. <clears throat> Fast, continuous is for, the, it's the equivalent. When you say, what are you doing right now, guys? <clears throat> what are you doing? What are we doing? English. Having class. Math. We are we are studying English. Okay. So when you have past continuous, it's the equivalent of this action, which is in progress, but in the past. So we would say we were studying studying English. English. Yes. We were when uh, hold on, just the example in the past progressive form without anything in the past. Okay. So we were studying English last night from well known at. I don't know, uh, 9 p.m., 8 p.m., right? At 8 p.m. So, hey, what were you doing last night? We were studying English. That means that the action at this time, it was in progress. Okay, or to be specific, I don't know, 8.30, I can say. So this is the equivalent of this just in the past, okay? Now, if there is an action that is in progress like this one and it gets interrupted, you have to say something in the past, okay? So we were studying English last night at 8.30 when, when, um, there, when, I don't know. When my computer is turned When the off. internet failed. <laughs> okay, when my computer, my computer uh -huh. broke, okay. broke down. Okay, oh, or when there was a power outage, or when it started raining. This is in the past, not raining, okay? Started is in the past, it started raining. When dogs started barking, right? <laughs> and then we were like, no, we can't have this class. So you don't necessarily need to interrupt the action, but if you want to say it, then, well, there's something here, okay? It's not necessary. Is that clear? Yes. And I think the structure is easy. It's like present continuous, but you just change this for was or were. Okay. All right. So let's do the exercise on the video. And then you're going to do some of your own. So one when the day, look at this story, because you're going to do a similar one later. You're going to make one. So one when the day, a woman was walking was walking her pet poodle down the street poodle i don't know how to pronounce that a hair stylist saw yes oh the dog saw the dog through um, through a window all right here it's not all you don't always need to decide whether it is past continuous or past progressive because some some of some of the sentences are independent okay like this one the hair stylist saw the dog all right 
in what? Notice. And not not notice. Notice. She, she noticed. Notice. Notice it's crazy hair. Crazy hair. Yes. Later, while and this while indicates progressive. All right. So while yeah. this the least the stylus was creating, creating a new was line of hair creating for dogs and cats. Okay. He, he came up, came up, up with, a new, with slogan. a new slogan. Exactly. So this action was in progress and this interrupted it or this happened in the middle. He came up. What's the meaning of come up with, guys? In this context, it is se le ocurrió, okay? But oh. I want you to, I think I have mentioned that you have to use this word because it's very common, right? And if they ask you, hey, um, ¿cómo surgió la idea? How do you ask that in English, guys? Uh, how did the yeah, idea come up? Um, how did you create that idea? Okay, or a problem. No, how did the idea come up? So, surgir, nacer, and all of that is come up, okay? Hey, guys, I'm sorry, but a problem just came up. So, um, I don't know. You're going to have a substitute, for example, right? Any so, convenient. Uh -huh. This is when something suddenly happens, right? Surgio. Okay. Uh -huh, exactly. You're, you have to use this verb a lot in real life and also in the business context. So, that's a word you need to be using, okay? Just a parenthesis. So, now... Um, he came up with a new slogan, even animals have bad hair days. <laughs> okay, well, all right. So I'm gonna send you a link similar to what we did last night so that we can consolidate this, the difference between past and past continuous. So decide which one you have to use, okay? And after that, we're gonna practice speaking as always. So here's the link. It's on WhatsApp, okay? I'm gonna make groups. You have any questions before we do that? No. Alrighty, let's break this in. I mean, the first one I think is. I was is, sitting in a cafe. Yes, I was sitting. Past continuous. Make the past simple or past continuous. I was sitting in a cafe with you. Who are there? Who is there? I I'll share my uh, okay. Eating okay. in a cafe when you call call it. When you call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Check. Sitting. Sitting. Oh, double T. Yeah, double T. Okay. okay. Who? In this case, a right. Who uh, no. when I, when you arrive, I don't know, I don't know. 
with a uh, arrive. Right. Right. I don't know. I don't know. You can try. We okay. can check. Uh -huh. So you don't always need to use both, right? It can be only one. It can be the two of them, or just for example, okay. past continuous. So yeah. Okay. So, so... It's the same, but with a D. Heard. The night. Just this one? Uh, let me see. Yay! Yes. Okay. Yesterday. Yeah. Patricia, you can say if you want to. Yesterday. Yesterday, I, I went. went. I went. I went. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's correct. No, you have a was. Yeah. One E, right. No. Okay. Yay. Yeah. We play tennis. Right. We, were, we were playing. Well, let me see, maybe an apostle. No, it's wrong. What are doing? What? Did what? they what? doing? Did o sea, what they did doing. they at the 10 p.m. last night? Ah, oh, no, it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, is what, what were they, they doing? Were they doing in continuous? What were they doing? No, it's it's wrong. No, is it correct? E, E, T. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yesterday I was. I have. Oh, I went. Or met. Never yeah. met. Mm -hmm. We we playing. were we we're were playing. playing. Mm -hmm. We were playing. Tennis when John yes. hurt. 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 He uncle. Not chain. Mm. Hurt his uncle. What did they do? What do they do? At the... <laughs> what did they What did they do? Uh... What? Hey, what they uh, do is... Uh... That's probably past continuous, guys. What? Because uh, it was really noisy. What? What was happening? Don't. Don't. Uh, what or do doing? What were they doing? At doing. the temp last night. Into the room, everyone. Work. 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 No, when I walked into the everyone was working, I don't know. <laughs> when I walked into the 
you can change the the sentence when I walk. Walk. With. Uh, with. E uh, yeah, and I everyone. Where. Work. We're working. Yeah. <laughs> No, was working. <laughs> yeah, was. Is everyone is a person. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it was. It was a day. Was a day long. The sun it was, was shining. And the bird song. Uh, Angie. Okay. And the last one. Yeah, it is true. It was a day last September. The sun was shining, and the birds were <laughs> shining. The shy. It's not sunning. And it was shining, too. Shining, yeah. Uh, the, the sun was shining. Uh, the sun shone, 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 or shine it. Shine it, I. I. Shine? Shine it. Shine it. Shine it. Shine it. Uh, you get rid of the E and then ING. Uh, shining. No, one N, just one N. Shining. What you need? <clears throat> you need what? Um, uh -huh, exactly. Okay. And the the bird was. It was also thing. at the same time. The it was happening at the same time. Progressively. The the bird. Uh. Was or were where where because plural uh huh yes so, singing singing okay good good <laughs> you're like <laughs> <laughs> All right, two more and no more torture two more okay Here. Forget that. Go. When her train got got to Good. the station. When the train got and, to uh, the station, yeah, we the station. we were waiting. We were waiting. Waiting. Waiting on the platform. We were no, waiting. I waited. Wait. We were waiting. Okay. He was. He was so annoying. He. he... September the sun. The sun sh shining. Shine. Uh -huh, shine. Shine. And the birds sing him. And the birds sing him. And the birds. He suffered a little bit with that exercise, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could tell. I thought it was going to be way easier than that, but I, I saw it was challenging. <laughs> Alvin is, is tired and sweating from the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was it was something else, not that. But anyway, what you have to do now is, um, let, hold on, I'm gonna send you some images. Okay, now we're gonna practice speaking. Let's say not really. Let me see where this is. 
Okay, I'll send you two images and you can choose one. Okay, there you go. Let me open them here if you want to see them. <clears throat> Did you get them? Yep. Okay, so what you have to do is try to use past and past continuous to make a story and then you're going to present it to the class. So I'm going to try to make big groups so we only have like three stories to tell, all right? But that's the idea, to get creative, try to make it funny or interesting, all right, and present it to the class using both. That's basically it. I cannot show you the images, it's taking forever. But yeah, and try to make at least five lines with that, all right? Choose one, the one that calls your attention the most, and that's it. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. No? <laughs> what tenses do you have to use? Past participle and past and simple past. Past simple and past. Ah, no. Simple. Yeah, past uh, continuous. continuous. <laughs> past continuous okay. simple. Oh. And everybody work past together continuous. contributing with ideas, all right? Then you will present it to the class. I think one, two, three. Yeah, I think I'll make three groups. Okay, any questions? So let's put everything in practice, all right? Let me see. Four. Hold on. Three, four. What if I make three? Hmm. Okay, well, four groups then. All right, accept the invitation, please. I'll be there to help you. I call, no, I don't know. Teacher, was this was the name of the animal in the image number two? Mm -hmm. cool. The pronunciation. The image and the coco dry? Yes. Okay. We choose the the second. Bite. 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 By the balloons. Um, and he turns turns back and he continued biting. <laughs> it was the biting. balloons. No, the balloons. <laughs> and we agree. Second one. Okay. Okay. It's an alligator, right? Yes. Okay. Alligator. While the alligator was... Oh. Mm. Mm. Uh, a go maybe? Meta? Uh, so, uh, some animal in the forest. Um, who was getting too many injuries in, in his body. And suddenly appears a pink balloon. And and he meta gold 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 that's that's meta this one is the finish line finish line <laughs> yeah the start and the finish line end line end line finish <laughs> finish line finish finish line i will say my patch in english and That animals with black eyes. I forgot. And a stink. Mapacho. 
Yeah. 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 Look. That yeah. Me happy. Okay. <laughs> you saw the eleven one. He he thought that was a balloon and it was the hippo. <laughs> eleven. Ah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Somebody's <laughs> writing. No. Is it almost oh. finished? No. <laughs> no, nobody's writing, writing anything. Huh? It's a... nobody's writing anything. Was... No, we need it to was... start again. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rain not an idea. Go on. <laughs> oh, you are uh, okay. writing, Carlos? Okay. Nobody was writing. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> come, so come, 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 I'm excited, very exciting. I'm very exciting. Excited, I think. Excited. Exciting. Excited. And this, and this, imagine maybe the loser is sacrifice. Sacrifice. <gasps> oh my gosh, sacrifice. Ah, and the sacrifice. The, the loser. Sacrifice. Huh? You kill the turtle. Or what? Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do we use the gator? I don't know. Can we no, use? No, no, Sam. Sam is okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sam, the gator. Okay. He was coming from a fight with his friend. <laughs> uh, his N is B U R S T. With T, burst. P U R S T. Es reventar, estallar. Burst. Uh, okay. Yeah, estallar, burst. Mm -hmm. And the cocoa dry. You miss turtle. And the turtle. And the turtle. One son no. going to to bite the balloons because I I, I am boring and the cocodrill bite the balloon. And he was happy. And another day, the cocodrill found on the tree another balloon. And the cocodrill uh, was surprised because the balloon was a uh, hippo. Okay. Sorry, are you almost done? Uh, only Alexander uh, needs to, to say his history. About okay. The... Um... Right. No, we're just going to say one story per group. That's it. Mm. Ah, okay. Ready? Yeah. We made three stories. <laughs> oh, come on, it's just one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to present it to the class right now. Ready? Yes. Okay. Let's... Alvin. No, no, no. You, you, you. All right, we're back. I hope you use past simple and past continuous. Okay, so we're gonna present our story. One member from each group is gonna present the story to the class. Okay, so. Uh, I don't know who that's going to be. I should have said that. <laughs> so you could choose one. All right, Luke. Gio, you can do it. Gio, <laughs> you, you want to be the first story, one? Man. Do you write it? <laughs> who wrote it? Carlos wrote it. Gio? Yeah, Carlos wrote it. Okay, Carlos, yeah. you're going to be the first one then. It's okay, guys. Come on. We are comfortable funny, with one another. Go ahead. 
<laughs> yeah, we're comfortable, guys. Come on. Okay, so what story did you write about, Gio? The crocodile or the or yeah. the rabbit? What the, the crocodile? Okay, so tell us the story, Carlos. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, crocodile was a uh, fight with the enemies as he he was he was uh, he said before found the balloons when he he found the balloons yeah he thought uh, what happened if i bite the balloons and <laughs> bite it <laughs> and bite it and bite it <laughs> and he bit it and bit it and 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 then, bit it. And, and then uh, he fall uh, it falls the hippo. Ah, uh, a hippopotamus <laughs> fell down. Fell down, okay. <laughs> Something like that. And that's it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is so short. We did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, Jill. For, for, <laughs> you well, said five lines. Five lines at least. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny. Then, then he he saw that big balloon on the tree, and he mm -hmm. wants to bite it. But okay. It was not a balloon. It was a, a hippo. <laughs> it was an ass. A hippo ass. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> <And> hippo. <laughs> okay. So let's see who else. Um. Let me see. Alvin, oh, who are you working with? Maybe. Come on, guys. Just one person. I can do it if you want for me. Melissa. Too. All right. Yeah. Who are you with, Melissa? Carla and Jaime. Carla and Jaime. All right. So we're missing some people. Uh, which one did you talk about? The, the crocodile or the, the rabbit? Ninja turtles. Ah, the, the turtles. <laughs> the turtle. Okay. All right. Tell us what happened. Okay. Uh, my friends. And I were walk. My friends, I'm an animal. So Carla Jaime are animals too. Okay, and I get it. And <laughs> my, I'm the bear. My I'm my friends, my friends and I were walking into the forest, and then we found a turtle running at the finish line, and a raccoon was screaming, very excited because the turtle won, because the turtle won. Suddenly. A friend asked about who else were at the competition, but the rabbit was being kidnapped by the Ninja Turtles because mm -hmm. they were paid to do so. And the end. <laughs> All right. We well, yeah, finish. that's five lines at least. Awesome. Yeah. Good job. Okay. My story is for uh, you and for Geos. Sorry, I didn't applaud my, for you. My story is yes, about Elvin. the Coco Trial. All right, tell us your version of it. Go ahead. Okay. This is a story about a big crocodile. music. Excellent, Alvin. Play it louder, Alvin. <laughs> he was Alvin walking. Is such a clown. <laughs> he was walking in the morning, and he saw a little balloon. Okay. <laughs> our friend, <laughs> our, our friend, um, thinking, hmm, where is this balloon? Uh, is here in front of my eyes. Hmm, this is my chance for eating this very tasty balloon. Okay. <laughs> and this crocodile begins to eat every balloon. He take one. He take two. He said to it. He was very happy. But suddenly appeared another kind of balloon. <laughs> and what a great surprise have our friend when this balloon was a uh, hippo. End mm -hmm. of the song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Applauses. Great job. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, you should have changed the music at the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. There's one group missing, guys. I don't know who that is. It's Danny and Beatrice, right? You want to say it, Veronica, or Yesenia? 
Okay. Veronica, so. because Veronica take a note. Oh, she wrote it. Okay. okay. Great. Did you write about the cockatrail or the cockatrail? Okay. Famous. The cockatrail was walking in the park when he saw a red balloon. Next, he was watching other balloons on yellow and blue, and he tried to catch them, but the balloon burst, and the cockatrail placed with another balloon. But he was happy about the sound of the balloons. Bros. The cockatrice saw a big balloon and now he tried to bite it. And surprise, a Paris appears and a hippopotamus fell down off the tree. <laughs> okay, great job. Very well said. I'm going to give you some vocabulary, guys. When you're talking about bubbles, that is the perfect word. Bubbles burst, okay? And when you're talking about balloons, they pop. Okay, that's the verb. Okay, balloons pop. Um, it's maybe not important for you, but <laughs> that's the vocabulary. Okay, great job. So let me see one more thing. Hold on. Teacher, what is the word for balloons? They pop. Okay. Pop. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, you have any questions about this topic, guys, before we finish? Let's do the exercise all together. Once we finish, we're done, okay? Number one, can you do it, uh, Marvin? No. Yes. Yeah. Number one. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. Where working is uh, an answer in this in this blog space. While drivers were working off of the coast of Florida, they discovered a ship shipwreck container gold worth two millions. We're, okay, so we're working. We're, we're working. Okay. Yeah. Yay! No. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> All right, awesome. Next, uh, let me see who hasn't participated. Jaime? Okay. They was discovering a shipwreck. Shipwreck contained gold work two millions. Uh -huh. mm, you think it was a progressive action? You think it's progressive when you discover something it, or it's like all of the sudden, instantly, <laughs> suddenly. It's not progressive, right? So I think they, that would be they oh, discovered. Okay. Yeah, you cannot be taking too long in discovering something, all right? Okay, and last one, Mr. Invisible Man, Alexander Lopez, go ahead. Okay, the dry birds were filming. I show about the coral reef when they found the gold. We're filming. Let's see. That should be right, and it is. Okay, now that's the story of divers hit the jackpot. All right, now we're gonna do the four leg customers. What is that? Okay, well, number one, Carlos. As a woman. Uh, was walking her pet well down the street. This walk. This walk. Okay. Continue, Carla. Uh, Carla. <laughs> okay, Carla, let's continue. I was saying Carla, <laughs> it was her diabolita, but okay. It's the same <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A hairstylist, what? Noticed. Hey, this is the same as last one. Yeah, you're right. Okay, hold on. Noticed while he was creating. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I hadn't realized. Carlos, he told me that he. 
came up with and okay i did a great job here thank you <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's the same sorry oh my gosh everybody understand <laughs> Good job. All right. great job <laughs> great job team <laughs> <laughs> so so far everybody should be on section 4.4 is that what everybody yes yes, yes. are you sure okay great maybe, yeah. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that is where we should be section maybe 4. tomorrow <laughs> no to, it was on sunday so that's past pre no let me see past simple yeah it's over Okay, any questions? I think we're clear. It's yeah. clear. Yeah. Do you think you need more practice between the difference between past and past progressive or not really? That would be great. It would be great. You want to practice <laughs> yeah. some more? Okay, well, we can practice more tomorrow. But I would recommend you to finish the exercise I sent you because I think the majority didn't finish. If you can finish it after class, that would be great. Okay. All right, thank you guys. It was nice seeing you. It was fun. I appreciate it. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.